Artisan Summit. Artisan Summit. Artisan Summit. Artisan Summit. Artisan Summit. Artisan Summit. Until next time, from the Artisan Summit, you Anybody heard of Rhonda Dr Draculis RK3 Designs? Has anybody seen what she makes? Like, it is absolutely fantastic. And one thing that I've picked up from Rhonda is Rhonda has a theme. She has a theme in her attitude, in her persona. She has a theme in her work. She's an artist. She's an entrepreneur. She has a great team. If you, go, if you meet her team, you'll know why she is the way she is. She will give you anything and everything that you would ever ask for. I highly recommend anybody that wants to learn about business or epoxy or art or faux finishing, talk to Rhonda Draculis. And you're gonna learn why, but I just wanna publicly say, Rhonda is salt of the earth. I love this woman. And without further ado, Rhonda Draculis, the coolest. First, I want to talk about um, the reason that we're here in Las Vegas this week is because we're doing a uh, event called the Artisan Summit. It's where we're going to be teaching people like you and I who love doing a craft or a passion and how to segue that into something that you do for a living. So I am Rhonda Draculis. Uh, I'm from Seguin, Texas, which is a little town. Ooh, got the Texas people here. My dad is an artist. He, uh, he's always painted. And so he got me involved in art when I was little. I took art classes. Um, I love drawing. Um, that's, a, that's a huge passion for me, pen and ink. I just kind of got into that, started making jewelry. You know, anything that I could just do with my hands. And um, all this time we were still on the road. Uh, we homeschooled my youngest daughter. Then I got hurt. <laughs> and uh, I'm probably gonna get emotional in just a minute, but I got really, um, I had a really bad accident, and um, uh, I've had 10 surgeries on my leg, but that's not the bad part. The bad part is it took away my passion. I wasn't able to compete anymore. I wasn't able to ride anymore, and so um, that was really hard for me, and I thought, you know, now I'm useless, you know, that, because everyone associated me with rodeoing. So anyway, I, I, I had to restructure my life. I was in a cast for two years, uh, multiple, multiple, multiple surgeries, which included two back surgeries. And I just, I, I needed something to take away, you know, to take that, that void. And so I started painting. I got into the faux industry. I started that and then I started painting, you know, one little piece of furniture. And then I started painting another little piece of furniture. And then I think I had Facebook back then, but I don't know if I really posted a lot of it on there. So word of mouth just started going and I did something for somebody and then they told somebody and you know, the snowball effect. And so I, before I knew it, I was painting full time for people. But that's kind of what led me into the stone coat because I kept having uh, customers saying, wow, you've done all my walls and you've done my cabinets and I have these ugly countertops. What do we do? And, I mean, what do you do? You either send them to a contractor to have granite or something like that put in, or you start researching the internet, which is what I did. So I ordered a kit and started playing with it. I was like, okay, this stuff's kind of cool, you know? I'm like, yeah, I really like this. So I kept playing and playing. Well, I did, <laughs> I did a big mistake. I posted it on Facebook. And at this point, I had a pretty good following. And I was like, look what I'm doing. I'm doing kitchens now. Yeah. I had 14 kitchens booked in a week. And then I panicked. I literally panicked. I thought, what am I going to do? And I'm kind of like Mike, I, I don't say no. Can you do that? Absolutely, I can do that. And uh, you just watch me. So the business then started kicking into me and I thought, okay, I gotta, I gotta plan. I gotta plan this out. For those of you who don't know, Rhonda RK3 Designs is your business. You teach people how to take epoxy and make it look amazing. 
That's right. In a nutshell. That's it. So people come out to your class and they learn from start to finish. Sometimes never touched epoxy before. Quite a, quite a few haven't touched it before. How cool is it when somebody hasn't touched epoxy and you get to see that reaction, that genuine reaction of that aha. I can't believe I just made that, yep, right? That aha moment is why I do what I do. But first of all, I have to learn from the best. I have to go learn from the best. So I flew up and I met Mike, took one of his classes and that changed my life. I mean, it, it, it literally changed my life. And um, <laughs> so um, I took the class and it, it, that flight home, have you ever got something in your mind and in your heart and it burns so much it hurts because you want it, you know this is it. This is, this is it. And I think, I really think the timing, and my friend Brandon is out here somewhere, I can't see, there he is. He had a saying, and man, it just hit me when we were doing the podcast the other night. He said, Timing always beats power and speed. Timing beats speed and power. I think if I would have seen Stone Coat any earlier in my life, it would have been the wrong time. I wouldn't have been ready for it. But I was ready for it. And I started practicing and practicing and practicing. And I started going with those 14 ki kitchens one at a time. I started knocking them down. What would be your biggest tip for somebody, maybe not just epoxy, but what's your biggest tip for somebody starting a brand new trade or a brand new craft or something that is brand new to them? What would be your biggest piece of advice? I'm actually going to talk about that tomorrow. Prepare yourself financially. You must invest in your business because unless you treat this like a business, it will never become a business. If you treat it like a hobby, it will always be a hobby. It'll be a very expensive hobby. So you have to treat it like a business. Have a room that you go into. This is my business space. Even if it's a closet, whatever, this is my business space. I'm gonna work on my business now. It's not just money. Time, talents, and interest. Time is a, is a huge factor. If you wanna get good at something, spend some time doing it. Exactly. I love it. First of all, get you a mentor. You've got to have a mentor. I have, I have several mentors, and I, I use them a lot. That doesn't mean I necessarily talk to them every day, but I have to have my fix on my mentors. You started a YouTube channel. Hot dog, I finally did it. Oh, I yes. did it. And it's because of the people on Insiders, they kept saying, when are you gonna do that? When are you gonna do that? And I'm like, oh, I'm really gonna have to do this, aren't I? I tell everybody, just do it. Quit, quit overthinking it, just in the epoxy world. And then I sit there and go, man, I am not taking my advice. I am waiting to the perfect time. And I finally just dove in and... That's awesome. Yeah. I'm proud of you. So, I, I'm, I'm excited for you. Yeah. So guys, go, we'll to, uh, go to RK3 Designs, crush that subscribe button, and learn tips and yeah. tricks. from. And there's more videos coming, I promise. My goal, actually, seriously though, is to try to get to the point where I am doing one video a week. Good for you. And um, that's my goal. So now I guess the question is, how do you get started? What do you need to do? What's your first step? Um, and the first thing, you, you just have to start. Just start. Don't don't talk yourself out of it. Don't talk don't talk about it for you know six months before you order your first kit. Do like me. Order it. Just order it and start playing. Sample boards, tons, tons, tons. And if you don't want to waste your money on just boards, go buy you some some TV trays at Walmart, and 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 do the cover, you know, do do the top part and give them as gifts, and 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 take old tables old uh, side tables, do, do anything that you can. I have, a, I have epoxied so many things in my house. My husband said, I can do anything I want except the toilet seat. <laughs> Not allowed to touch the toilet seat. I know, I saw them on the ins insiders. I saw some toilet seats and my husband said, that is my throne, do not touch it. <laughs> I said, okay. And then start writing down your short-term goals. What are your short-term goals for your business? Write down short-term goals that are attainable. Okay, uh, I would like to maybe have a, a workspace in six months. You know you're not gonna build one, that's fine. Go clean out a bedroom, go clean out a garage, go do something, go rent you a, um, 
one of those little mini storages or something. Do, do whatever it takes. Don't let that be your reason why you do not do this business. Um, and I'm talking about in the countertop business. Now, if y'all are wanting to, you know, there's, there's so many other ways to use the epoxy, but I'm applying this to my countertop business is, is kind of what I'm talking about. Uh, and then set yourself some long-term goals. What do I want to do in a year? What do I want to do in five years? Because if you don't write those goals down and you don't think about them, you won't accomplish them because they become your back burner. If you write them down and you put them where you can see them, they're, you'll see them every time you, you, you make coffee. You'll see them every time that you brush your teeth because they're right there. And it's important to write those goals down um, because you want this to work. And, and, and me, this passion burns so deep inside of me, I got sick to my stomach sometimes because of what I want to do. Do I know how I'm going to do it? No, but it's on that piece of paper and it says that I'm going to accomplish that goal. Building a business is not easy. Um, my YouTube channel, <laughs> my first, my first video on my YouTube channel, guys, and I've been doing this for a long time. I, I was one of the people that Sean was talking about that tried to make everything perfect before I put it up there. And, and I was, he was talking to me and I kept going, oh, he's talking to me. And so I finally, and Mike kept saying, you can do this. Catherine kept saying, you can do this. So I did it. I do, I was talking about my hurdle. I've got, I am gonna have a surgery on my, um, my leg towards the end of the year and I'm gonna have it amputated. So I said it and it's gonna be fine. I'm really okay with that. And it's taken me a long time and talking about God's timing because when I first knew that I needed it, I wasn't prepared for it. I thought, I can walk through this. I can, I can fight through this pain. I'm good. But if any of y'all have chronic pain where you hurt all the time, all the time, guys, that is just, that's not something you want to live with. And there'll be times I want to just go paint and I want to go, um, I want to go be creative, but I hurt so bad. I just don't want to get up. And I'm so excited about not having that anymore. And it's just a leg. My husband told me he'd buy me one for every day of the week. Okay, so, <laughs> so I, I am excited about that, but I know, and I think the one thing I'm most fearful of is that people will treat me different. And I don't wanna be treated different because it's just my knee down. Because I'm a go-getter and I'm gonna rock this. I'm gonna beat it. But I'm worried about my business. I'm like, well, what if I can't get up and paint? And what if I can't build this? And what if I can't do that? That's gonna be taken care of because I prepared myself for it and I prepared my business for it. And now I'm gonna be, okay, I can video from a wheelchair until my leg's ready, right? Right? Okay. So um, I know I have some hurdles to jump through, but I also, my passion has brought me to this level. My leg injury has brought me to this. And I'm not gonna let the, my next step stop it. So, Woo! so anyway. <laughs> can, can everybody give it up for Rhonda? Life will try so hard to take your dream away. It will try so hard to tell you you can't do it. But don't let life do that. Live outside the box, okay? Because you have one shot at this. You have one shot at your life. Be the best that you can be. And, and Mike, you know, said something one time to me, and man, it stuck to me. I never want to be the smartest person in the room. Because if I am, I'm in the wrong room. I want to be with people that are going to make me be the best version of me. And I mean, there's, they're out there. Find them. Find those people. Don't sell yourself short, I guess. I, I have so many people say, well, I'm just starting and I'm really not that good and, and I don't know if I can do this. Never sell yourself short. Ever. Ever. It's okay to have a pity party ever so often. I do it. But, you know, God's given you a talent and, and take that talent and, and run with it. Rhonda, the coolest Dracula. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I'm pumped. I like. I'm pumped right now. You just totally inspired me. I feel. I feel. I feel good. Thank you, guys. You probably didn't know that you were gonna be getting 
pumped up on stone coat countertops, right? Like, like this is awesome. Thank it you. Is very cool. Thank you, guys. Uh, visit us anytime at StoneCoatCountertops.com. Call anytime for free project support. And until next time, from Stone Coat Countertops, you got this. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you.